I V M. Hey everybody, quick request once again, if you could help us out by filling out our survey, it's at ivmpodcast.com slash survey. This really helps us talk to advertisers about the kinds of people listening to these shows. Really do appreciate your help and we're going to be doing a random drawing and we'll be sending out some IVM swag. Hope you enjoy that. Hey everyone, welcome to the Positively Unlimited podcast. In today's episode, I'm touching upon a very, very, very important aspect of relationships, of healing your love life or even building up your love life. And that is to work on yourself. Yes, that's the episode for today, W for work on yourself. Just the sound of that may make some of you smile. And for some of you, you may be wondering, what in the world am I talking about? <laughs> but Here's the thing, all of us are too quick to blame the other person, to see the other person's faults and to step into lack and think about how things aren't working out for us. However, and I say this to every client who comes to me for relationship issues, you need to work on yourself in order to be able to heal your relationship. If you want your partner to change something, well, then you need to be the one who starts the change. You need to be the first one to change something. We live in times where we are throwing a lot of labels around. And while these labels do hold a lot of substance and they have been created with a lot of study, however, we who are throwing them around, we who are using it to label our partners with these particular behaviors or with these particular titles, we are not equipped to do that. Now, if you're wondering, what do I mean? How many of you all have gone out and looked up words like narcissism and gaslighting? How many of you all have gone and looked at uh, articles that talk about attachment styles, such as anxious attachment style or avoidant attachment style? Now, here's the thing. If you think that you are somebody who is dating a narcissist, go to the therapist or go to a life coach, go to a healer and work on yourself so that you can become strong enough to hold up the mirror to this person. Or you can have the courage to walk out of this relationship if it is that toxic and unhealthy for you. Similarly, if you think your partner is gaslighting you, Instead of pointing fingers at them, because that only puts the person on the defensive, go to a therapist, go to a life coach, go to a healer, invest in sessions, work on your communication skills so that you can respond appropriately to somebody who is gaslighting you. If you are dating somebody who has an avoidant attachment style or an anxious attachment style, seek help. Seek help so that you know how to help your partner deal with these issues of theirs. Now, having said all of this, I'm going to turn the table. If you are the person with an avoidant attachment style, if you are a person whose partner is constantly telling you that you are being narcissistic or you are gaslighting them, you need to get up and get help. Go to a therapist, go to a life coach, go to a healer. Work on yourself. Why? Well, because you want to be in a relationship as much as your partner does. In the course of your therapy, you may realize that this is not the partner for you. Fair enough. But then you still want the relationship, right? You still want a relationship, right? You still want to experience love, right? Well, if you want to experience a beautiful relationship, the one that you are dreaming about, one that you aspire to have, if you want to enjoy a healthy love life, if you want to do all these Instagram kind of things with your partner, with these beautiful pictures taken in different places and use the hashtag relationship goals or my man or my woman, well then go get help. Invest in yourself so that you can work on your patterns. You need to think about yourself. You need to work on your patterns. You need to work on where you are going wrong. Whether that is as a person who is acting out incorrectly or reacting incorrectly to an action. Whichever way, seek help. I get asked very often 
whether I do couples counseling and whether I do couples therapy, well, firstly, I'm not a therapist. I'm a life coach. Having said that, even as a life coach, I do not do sessions with couples. However, what I do always recommend people, and especially with all my clients who have come to me for relationship issues, this is the one thing I've always told them. Before you try to heal your relationship, you need to be able to stand in front of the mirror and take a good hard look at yourself and figure out what you are doing right, what you are doing wrong. Hence, in order to heal your relationship, before you dive into couples therapy and couples counseling, you need to go in for therapy, coaching, healing for yourself, for your individual self. What we all seem to forget when we think about our relationship is that we are one half of that relationship. You are one half of that relationship, right? Hence, you need to be at a certain level in order to bring that relationship up to a certain level. Like I said right in the beginning, we're all too ready to blame our partners and to stand in lack. But how many of y'all out there listening to this episode are willing to invest in your own self, are willing to work on yourself to break free of patterns, relationship patterns that are unhealthy? Remember this, you have developed these relationship patterns thanks to your conditioning, thanks to the relationship you saw between your parents, thanks to experiences you've had as a child. And thanks to many other experiences that you have had growing up, whether it was what you watched in movies, whether it was what you were told and what you were taught, whether it was how many times you have had your heart broken, or whether it is about where your self-worth comes from. So for anyone who is listening to me, whether you are married, whether you have been in a relationship for a long time, or whether you are single, struggling to meet the one, Please invest in yourself. Reach out to whatever kind of practitioner and expert that resonates with you and invest in your own healing and in your own self-development. Raise your energy to match the frequency of the relationship that you are dreaming of living. And that is not something that we can do alone. So to all of you who are listening, I hope that this week you reach out to invest in your own self, to work on your own self. That is where the healing of your relationship also begins. On that note, I'm going to head out of here, but I will catch you again in the next episode. And yes, we are winding down this particular series of A to Z, which has been all about relationships. Well, the next one that I'm going to be coming up with is going to be about finding your life purpose. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed that show. If you aren't following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Once again, just a quick reminder, please do help us out by filling out our survey. It's at ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It really does help us figure out who's listening and, you know, what are the characteristics that we can go and push to advertisers. That is massively helpful to us. Please, please, please do help out with that. So on the network this week, let me start with a quick milestone. It's the 100th episode of Begin the Journey with Ashish Vidyarthi. Congratulations to Ashish and the team. Great show. If you're not listening to it, he talks to you about just how to approach life. It's just very, very cool stuff. Do check this out. I want to mention the note with Maru Kinaya. She talks about why petrol prices are so high. On The Wired Talk, Siddharth speaks with Harsh Mandar. On Advertising is Dead, Varun speaks to Kabir Biswas, the founder of Dunzo. They have a really interesting conversation about, you know, what's the future of Dunzo and what they're thinking about. On The Traveling Professor's Diaries, check out Siddharth talk about the performance paradox. I found it really fascinating and interesting. I think that you guys will really get something out of listening to that. Please do give that a listen. And finally, let me mention Zindagi Diaries. It's Ragini Kumar's poetry podcast. The first week when it came out, we put out five poems first week. We put out another five poems this week. And the response has been phenomenal. Do check it out. It's in Hindi. It's a poetry podcast. Something a little different. Do give it a shot and let us know what you think. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. 
बेटा डिड यू नो सेवेंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ ऑल साइंटिस्ट इन नासा इंडियन ओनली देखो इंडिया में टैक्स सिर्फ मिडिल क्लास भरती है एवरी वन इज जस्ट एंजॉइंग फ्री यार आजकल के यंगस्टर्स आर ओनली इंटरेस्ट इन पार्टिंग एंड एंजॉइंग उनको देश की पड़ी ही नहीं है बेटा तुम बस शादी कर लो उसके बाद तो यू कैन एंजॉय लाइफ लाइक एनी थिंग आई विल टेल यू वॉट दिस कंट्री नीड्स दिस कंट्री नीड्स फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ डिक्टेटरशिप दैट इज दी ओनली दी ओनली वे टू बिकम अ सुपर पावर सी द चाइनीज हाउ मच देव प्रोग्रेस सुनो तुमने ये व्हाट्सएप फॉर देखा So what's common between all of these statements? They're all absolutely rubbish. Fake WhatsApp forwards that spread like wildfire and statements that defy any logic. They are here to debunk them all. Where are family WhatsApp groups? Worst nightmare. Where what happens when you read a book? Basically, we are just a bunch of guys who want to cut through the bullshit of everyone saying this, how it won't be true. So that the next time someone confidently squeezes out some WhatsApp or Twitter BS, you will look them dead in the eye and go, "Uncle." Please sit. So join me, Joel, and me, Tushar, every Mondays for a fresh new episode of Uncle. Please sit.